Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freebie.com, I will add download link and project files. Let's first step select this layer sun and these background layers. Okay, and let's right mouse, precoms add name background objects and click ok then select this object and go to effect preset let's search effect motion tile select this motion tile let's use for this object then change tile width okay let's change this 2000 okay and let's press p make new passing shape frame and move to right Okay, and go to 6 seconds. Let's move to left. Okay, let's see. Nice, and select the sun. Let's move to behind. And move to here. Let's press P, make new passing shape frame. Go to last shape frame. And let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So let's back to taxi composition and in this time select these background objects. Let's move to down and select this car body black. Let's link to car body. Select this car body. Go to here and press P. Make new passing tree frame and go to 10 tree frame. For shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and let's move to down like this and go to 10 tree frame again. Select first tree frame. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select three frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select three frames and let's use expression for endless loop animation. Select three frames and hold Alt, click this time icon. Go to play button, let's click here. Go to property and select loop out duration. For done expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, this very slowly. Let's select these three frames. Hold Alt, move to left for fast animation. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So go to here and let's select this glass. Let's right mouse, go to precoms, add name glass, and click OK. Then go to shape layers. Let's go to create wrenchel tool and make one wrenchel like this. Let's change stroke with 0, go to click fill, select this eyedropper, select this blue color and change to light blue, click OK and click selection tool. Let's change size like this, press air, change rotation, OK and let's select this shape layer, let's open inside, open contents and select this range 1, let's control D and move to right. Let's change scale. Okay. Then close this and change name reflection. And select this glass. Let's control D for duplicate. Select this reflection. Move to center this glass layers. And click toggle switch modes. Change non to alpha matte. Okay. Let's see. Select this reflection. Nice. Let's go to here. Move to left. Press P. Make new passing key frame. And go to 10 keyframe. frame. Let's move to right. Let's select keyframes, frames. Make easy ease. And let's see. Okay, let's select last keyframe, frame. Move to right. Let's see here. Okay, let's back to glass and select first keyframe. frame. Move to right. Go to last keyframe. frame. Select keyframe frame and move to left. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, that's good. Let's back to glass and go to last shape frame, press N and select these layers. Go to edit and split layer. Let's delete and select these layers and right mouse, precoms, add name, reflection. Click OK. Okay, back to glass and select this reflection, Control D, move to right for loop animation. Also, we can use expression for this loop and endless animation but I will use manual version okay let's see 
Nice. Let's close these compositions and let's see here. Okay, let's open background objects and select this layer, move to right and move to left for spatial animation. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, go to here and let's select this glass, link to card body. Nice, let's back to background objects and go to last shape frame. And let's change this 4000. And select this last shape frame. Move to left. Let's see. Okay, back to taxi. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to pen tool and let's make like this line, click section tool, close fill, select none, and go to chain stroke, and go to pen tool, hold pen icon, and let's select this convert vertex tool, and let's select this point, hold this point, and make smooth. Clearization tool, then select this layer and change name V line, V line, and go to add, select trim paths, open trim paths here, and change int 0, make int keyframe, and go to 10 keyframe, change int 0, and go to here, make start keyframe, go to here, change start 100. Let's see. Okay, select shape frames, make easy. Nice. So in this time, go to here, select this V line, and go to stroke color. Let's select this color, click OK. Okay, so in this time, let's select this V line, press U, and go to last shape frame, and go to edit, split layer, and delete. Go to here and select this V line and Ctrl D, move to right. Let's see. Again, Ctrl D, move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's again Ctrl D, move to right for wheel animation. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So select these shape layers. And right mouse, precoms, add name, line 1. Click OK. Back to taxi and go to here. Let's control the, this line composition. And let's move to right. OK. And let's select this line 1. Move to left. And select line 2. Move to here. Let's see. Let's move to right. Okay, nice. So, select these lines and right mouse, precoms, add name, 1. Click OK. Let's back to taxi and select this composition 1 and move to back car body. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, select this 1, Control D for duplicate, go to here and move to left. Let's see. Okay, let's move to up. Okay, let's control D, move to here and move to down. Okay, let's move to behind car body black. Okay, let's control D again. Move to here this composition. Okay, let's move to up. Nice. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.